you don't mess with him he's a solid player it's going to be a slow game we know that and uh, that won't upset Paul because Paul is um, really methodical with his throw as well but, uh, I think I think the best that Paul was playing as, as Kamula wins the bullseye was when he beat Phil Taylor in the semi-final of that Players Championship at the Circus Tavern and then went on and beat Mervyn King in the final. We all, all thought that he was going to move on from there and make the Premier League that following, or well, the next year. But he kind of, not crashed and burned, that's unfair to say that, but he really went downhill and he's had a few indifferent results. And I, I just think that some players, and, and I have to say, I think Paul's one of them, sometimes overthink the game. Um, got to do this, got to do that. And, and probably sometimes he's down to us in comms anyway, but... Uh, just getting up there and throwing darts is what you've got to do. And I have to say, he's, he's uh, got a bit of a David Bellamy coming on there, Yes, hasn't he? Uh, I was going to say, uh, I don't think we've ever seen him with quite so much uh, facial hair, Paul Nicholson, who, of course, represents Australia in uh, international darts play. But uh, originally from the northeast of England, now living in uh, Northamptonshire, Yoko Kamula. He represents uh, Finland um, and uh, got to the semi-final of the World Cup last year with his teammate Yanni Havista. We did see Nick Nicholson reach a, a European Tour final last year in Sindelfingen. And a, a fortnight ago in Hildesheim, he reached the third round there where Justin Pipe beat him 6-4. Pipe eventually going on to make the final where he was beaten by Gary Anderson. Yes, and that last leg over there ended up a right one, didn't it? With both of them having loads of darts at a double. And Anderson finally taking it out. And it was good to see Gary Anderson win his first tournament for quite a while. And uh, hopefully that won't hurt Justin Pipe too much as Kamula sticks in the first maximum of the match. I mean, he's been around a long time, Kamula. Played on the, the WDF tournaments for a good number of years. Represented Finland several times. So he's got pedigree. He's got bottle. Well, he's going for, sorry, he's going for two treble 19s for the double 16. Uh, and, the, and the thinking on that is, if you hit the first treble 19, you've got your line and length to stay that. So that, that's, that's good thinking. As it is, he's left himself uh, 88 with Nicholson trading in uh, this leg. So, double 14 for the first leg to the man from Finland. Can't do it. Nicholson has a chance then to break throw early doors if he can take out this 103. Well, 57 leaves him 46. So... 10 or a 6 or right the other side of the board. Looks like it could be the 14. Yeah, that leaves him double 16. It's been a bit of a poor leg, but when you nick the poor leg, you know, you're thinking, well, I can only go forward from here, and that's exactly what Nicholson has done. And Kamula, two darts at double 14. And sometimes the early part of the match is, you know, it, it's all about getting inside your opponent's head and by nicking a leg, a poor leg as well, it kind of hurts your opponent more than you throw on a 12 dart against him. Yes, Nicholson off the mark then first. The winner of this one will play Brendan Dolan or Ronnie Hybrex. That's the first match of the evening session here. Starting at 7 o'clock local time, 6 o'clock in the UK. And the whole weekend yet again streamed live and for free for you here on the official PDC YouTube channel. Wherever you're watching us, hope you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon darts. Well, hopefully people back home have, have 
got the roofs still left on. I know in my area the winds were horrendous all last night, so hopefully everything's okay back home for most people, or for all of you that are watching. I know we enjoy bringing it to you, and certainly we hope it's going to grow and grow, as is the game worldwide. And the Dutch fans packed in here to the Coningshof Hotel. Have to wait to this evening to see the local guys in action. Michael van Gerwen, the number one seed, the man of the moment. He's taking on Steve Maish. Vincent van der Voort's up against Gary Anderson. Really looking forward to that one. And we also have Christian Kist making his debut on the Euro Tour. The uh, former BDO Lakeside World Champion. He takes on Kevin Painter this evening. Yes, there are a few standout matches, Mike. Like you say, some great players on the stage over today. Newton and Win Stanley should be a cracker on that one. But the evening match for me is Ian White against Terry Jenkins. Ian White is playing exceptional at the moment, and so is Terry Jenkins. I'll stick my neck on the line and say that it's possibly going to go to a tie break as Paul Nicholson. Two legs to nil up, Paul Nicholson. And he's certainly. The scoring may not be right up there, but Paul Nicholson's finishing certainly is. Yes, yeah, a 15 leg, 16. 15 dart leg, that one for uh, Nicholson. And we'll just look to power on against the, the man from Finland here. Yeah, just needs to uh, consolidate now, Paul Nicholson. If he can nick the throw here, and then from 3 0 up with two breaks, you would think he, he shouldn't lose the game. He's actually in a, in a lot better frame of mind now, Paul. He had his troubles, especially at the match play. When I, like I said earlier, I think he was just overthinking the game, you know, instead of just getting up there and throwing darts, as my father would say. It's just a lump of metal thrown at a wall. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, you think just to do that as Kamula puts in his second maximum. And this is a lot better leg from Kamula. Nine darts thrown, just wants 136 now. So look to leave himself a decent finish. And just, uh, I don't know whether he miscounted there or hitting that odd number to leave 49 when he comes back. But Nicholson not really putting much pressure on it. That was better with the last start though. So 49 then for his first leg on the board, Yako Kamula. Double 16. Well, he had two darts at double 14 in the first leg, and Nicholson nicked it, but he made no mistakes then with the double 16. But Nicholson, with the all important break of throw, just needs to hold on to his throw, and he cannot be beaten. This is where you need to throw a, a nice, good. You know, you, you set off with a level 15 dart here, force your opponent into 12. Our next match on stage is John Part, the three times former world champion from Canada, up against uh, Joe Cullen, the young man from Bradford in West Yorkshire. And uh, was having a chat with John Part at breakfast and saying that uh, at the moment he's just taking every, every game as it comes, every day as it, as it comes, he, and, until he gets up on stage. He says he's not quite sure at the moment how he's going to play, and just on the day. If it happens, it happens. And uh, I know he is a little bit concerned about hanging on to his uh, seeding place. He wants to put in a good performance here. Seeded 12 this weekend. I 
Yes, I had the same sort of conversation literally half an hour ago with uh, Big John. Um, you know, about because he's now on the Sky Sports commentary team, and obviously, you know, you talk a lot about the game, and perhaps that will give him a different outlook on his own game. He actually has gone back to the same practice format that he was doing when he won the World Championships and, and lost to Phil in the final of the World Championships. And he said, it's, it's working. And, you know, sometimes when you're at the top of your game, you forget you've still got to put the hard work in. When you're at the top, it's harder to stay there. Everybody's gunning for you. Um, and you take your eye off the ball and you're going to be beaten. Well, Nicholson will keep his eye on the ball in the hope that he can extend his lead here with 61. Potential 14 data then for the asset. So double eight for a 3-1 lead. Just moving along the hockey to slide in above the other dart. Can't quite do it. So Kamula then, chance to draw level. Looking at 16 for double top. A good 14 dart leg there for Kamula to get himself back in the game. And it was ironic, it was Kamula that had two darts in the first leg and lost it. And now it's Nicholson that's missed two darts at the double. And he's let Kamula back in this match. It was a nice 14 dart leg as I said, so... Pretty tidy from Kamula. Seems to be now getting his line and length going. <laughs> Paul Nicholson was with his first 180 of the match. And yes, um, Dan and I were chatting uh, earlier on about the seeds coming in at this second round stage now with this uh, new format for this uh, year for the European Tour with a field of 48 uh, players and the seeds coming in at the second round stage and, and the advantage that some of those that have come through the qualifiers and been here a couple of days and already played on the stage, whether that can give them an advantage of being settled in with the surroundings and just warmed up on the dartboard before these guys, the top seeds come in cold, so to speak. Well, there's definitely an advantage to playing a game up there first. And, um, you know, if the seed comes in and wins easy, like Mervyn King does, then, you know, the first game of the day, then it doesn't matter. But if they lose, they go, well, he's got the advantage. Um, but when we're still building this game, there's certain things we have to change... Um, you know, to just to quickly tell people, uh, we cut it down from 64 to 48 because we couldn't get every game on the main stage. So we had a secondary stage, and I personally didn't think that worked. If you qualify for a major event, you play on the big stage. So now we adjusted the prize money. So now if you qualify, you're guaranteed £1,000. As a seed, you're only guaranteed 1250 So we thought that would work well on the ranking system as well. So... It's taken a while to, to go through all the rules and regulations, but we're getting there. So 96 left. He wanted the treble 20, which would have left him uh, double 18, Kamula. So Nicholson then a chance to break throw and go ahead. Looking at uh, 47, so double 16 now. Next door to double eight. Still can't hit it. Well, there's another chance for Nicholson. But he's let Kamula off the hook here. And he scored so well in that leg, didn't he? You know, leaving a shot, two darts at a double after 12. But Kamula now to hold on to his throw. <coughs> And it's him that's now missed two darts. So Nicholson comes back for the double four and a break of throw. Just taking his time, making sure the flights are firmly in the stem. Making sure the foot is in the same place as it always is. Well, 
Well, it took a while to complete that leg. Both players with some double trouble, but it was Nicholson who took it to break the throw and restore his lead in this match. First to six legs, remember. We've seen two of the matches this afternoon go all the way to an 11th and deciding leg. And there's not a great deal to choose between these two right now. The average is fairly level. Nicholson 91.5, Kamula just over 92, so fairly evenly matched after five legs of this match. and uh, plenty of chances to, to get you know hold of this game big time keeps breaking the throw of Kamula but then not doing anything on his own throw and uh, as I keep saying that's when you're just firing a big leg and you pile the pressure on your opponent and then finish him off but Paul is just a dart a treble 20 away from doing that with every throw Coming down Kamula, didn't like the lay of that uh, first start. And great cover on the treble 19s for the Finn. And Nicholson finding a treble with that last dart. But a big score here. Give the advantage back to Kamula. And a chance to break back. A great ton 40. So we'll be back for double 16 unless Paul Nicholson can take out 1-4-1 here. Well, he was going for the, the 51. Uh, left the bullseye tops or triple 18, double 18. But uh, fails that. So he, he puts the pressure on. But Kamula, three clear darts to get the throw back, and he's done exactly that. It was ironic that Kamula broke the throw with a 14, Nicholson then broke the throw back with a 14, and Kamula's now done a 13 dart. So they can break the throw with darts under 15, but they can't hold their throw with anything <laughs> under 15. Kamula here looking to kick off with a maximum, which indeed he does his third of the match. And the full house here at the Coningshoff Hotel in Beldhoven showing their appreciation. Well, just a nice straight tunnel do him. Oh, 95 now. That's exactly what he's done. That's a nice follow up to a maximum. Keeps the pressure on. Well, Nicholson, I think, started on the 19s in the hope of leaving the 170 out shot, but wasn't to be. Kamula will be first down to a finish uh, here. Could really do with hitting a treble, which he does with the last start. Well, he's going to come back with at least one dart of the double, and it will be... Well, to hold his throw for quite a few legs. Right, for the second leg on the trot, be looking at treble 13 is the normal route for the double 16. Now, the big 18 for double top. To 
take a 4-3 lead. And again, Nicholson is three darts away uh, on scoring before he comes to this visit. 1-6-4. We see it now and again, but uh, he's going for the treble 19s. Well, another treble 19 will leave him the bullseye. And that's unlucky. And he knows it. That could have easily just squeezed in. I always say a dart that just goes above, you know, is a great thrown dart. The one below, sometimes you think, well, I just didn't have enough power to get it up there. But that was unlucky. Double ten, no messing for Kamula. So he does hold on to his throw and go 4-3 up. And it's still anyone's game. It, you sense that you just need somebody to get this game by the scruff of the neck and, and they'll be home and hosed. Yeah, I agree, Mike. You know, a, a couple of fast legs and uh, the game's yours. But while you keep messing around, you keep opening the door for your opponent to, to come in with a, a couple of big scores and nick legs and it's happening all the time. But this is the time where Paul Nicholson can't afford to lose a leg this is massive for Nicholson I understand every leg's massive that's obvious but uh, to go 5-3 down with Kamula coming back to the board with the next throw and he will be on a high if he can put in a good leg there here and he's already got the throw and some more or well, as some change as we would say <laughs> yeah that was a poor visit by uh, Nicholson this is a 60 and a 42 in his first six darts in this leg. Yeah, that's a far better visit. First dart was absolutely perfect for him. And that's not for Kamula, so he's having to switch. And is it without a treble? No, he's doing exactly the right thing and he's gone down for those 19s because he leaves the 170. So the biggest out shot of all. This really would raise the roof if he was to take that out. Won't happen now. Nicholson then, then uh, also on a big out shot, 160. Camilla will be back for double 18, so Nicholson really could do with putting something out of the bag here. That's a great start to it. Another one of those. We'll leave double top for a 160 to make it all square at four all. And again, that was a great thrown dart. It's just, I mean, a millimetre from going in, but Kamula steps up very calmly and collectively and sticks the dart, the first dart straight in the double 18. And now pressure is really on Paul Nicholson. He's got to win all three of the legs to the left. And the last three legs, you have to say, from Kamula have been really tidy, Mike. Yep, played it. Very well indeed again, the 27-year-old from Tampere in Finland. A quarter-finalist here last uh, year, remember? So he does like this uh, venue here at Veldhoven. He took out some big scalps, including Paul Nicholson last year, James Wade and Justin Pipe on his way to the quarter-final. Is he going to put the bock on Paul Nicholson for a second year running? Well, there we have the stats, and that's pretty Good stats from Kamula, 14, 14, 13, the 16. That could have been a 14 as well. And then the previous leg, 13. And those those last three legs, that's a good run. And you can see, Mike, with, with Paul Nicholson's, you know, two 18s and a 15. The 18s, they're anybody's leg. You know, you're nicking legs at 18 darts. You're not going to carry on winning... Many tournaments throw an 18 darts in, in this standard anymore. Yeah, a couple of the um, early legs, the, both players went round the houses to try and hit a winning double. Well, normally, you know, a 13, 14 dart, you've won it on merit. 
the 18 and plus is or anybody's leg it's the one who just happens to hit a hit a double after having several attempts at it just 60 then from Camilla so a chance for Nicholson that he really needs to prevent Kamula winning and Nicholson being on the plane back home. Great pressure from Kamula. What a pick off. He'll be back for double top for the match. If Nicholson can't take out this 70. That's the fourth leg on the trot that Kamula has set the shot up perfectly. But to stay in the match, and a great shot out from Paul Nicholson. Just when he needed it, he takes the double 16. He's missed a few doubles in the early part of this leg, uh, the game. And that was one break of throw. Two more legs needed for Nicholson. Only one for Kamula. So Kamula knows, even if Nicholson just does win this leg to take us to a decider, Kamula will have the throw in the 11th and deciding set. And it looks like for the third time this afternoon in the second round of the Dutch Darts Masters, we could be going all the way to a deciding leg. Well, Nixon can't see the treble 20 after the first start, so he switches and finds the big treble 19. And he's got a bit of a lead, but a 140 here would certainly pile the pressure on. There's plenty of room there for a third for Kamula. But now the pendulum has swung a little bit towards Kamula. A visit without a treble from uh, Paul Nicholson is not what he needs. Oh. Hits one with the last dart, so he is down to a 1-6-1 finish. And that's not the greatest of starts from Kamula. He could do with hitting a treble as well here. Doesn't do so. Onto the treble 17 for the bullseye. 167 is an out shot for Kamula. Albeit a big one. Well, that big uh, miss 20 from Paul Nicholson has cost him a dart at a double. You know, if he'd have wanted the 61, he could have gone the 25 or the 36, but um, or even the 65. I was looking at the 64, but uh, sometimes combinations to bring it down to give you two darts instead of one dart well double 16 now he hit it before with that last dart and you could see the anguish on his face from Nicholson and Kamula hit this first dart the last visit he needed it double nine for the match Throws away the third dart to bust. No, he didn't. He, he just threw that dart. Well, I can assure you, all the people watching, I advise you not to do that. Throwing it like that could easily bounce off and catch a chalker or the caller. And then heavy disciplinary matters for doing something like that. Well, he can't put them any closer without putting it in. And the fact that Kamula hitting that, throwing that dart in anger, he didn't actually bust. 
he's ended up on double one for the match what a way to win the match well if he misses the double one then kind of serves him right a little bit you know it's easy for me to say because we've all got angry but there's being angry and, and doing silly things oh well the first two darts were a mile away but the third went in unconventional maybe but for the second year running at the Dutch darts masters Jarko Kamula has taken out the number 13 seed Paul Nicholson Kamula will be up against Brendan Dolan or Ronnie Hybrex in the round three match tomorrow coming up next on the big stage here it's the big Canadian the three times world champion John Park up against the rock star from England Joe Cullen Ja, nou zeg ik even nog één keer een hartelijke applaus.